I'm gonna be honest, the thumbnail and title is kind of clickbait, but at the same time, it's not. So let me explain. So basically, right now, the Canadian government is trying to pass a bill called Bill C-11. I know this is like way off from like my regular content, but like, I don't know, I feel like this is kind of important. I try to stay away from like controversial or like political type stuff because like, I don't want to force opinions on anybody and I just like to stay away from that stuff, you know? Because if you guys have an opinion that's different to mine, like I don't want to try and change your guys's, like, you know what I mean? I just stay away from that stuff. But this one, I feel like is kind of different and even if you're not Canadian this still can affect you guys so it mean a lot if you guys could continue watching so basically the Canadian government is trying to pass this bill which will let them be able to like regulate what videos people in Canada see. It's kind of confusing. So basically I'm a Canadian content creator, right? And there's actually a ton of Canadian content creators that I didn't even know that are from Canada. Like I didn't know some of them, like Call Me Chris is from Canada. She's big. Linus Tech Tips is from Canada. A bunch of fitness people like Greg Doucette is from Canada. Cody Ko is from Canada, but I don't think he lives in Canada. There's a lot of people like XQC and Pokimane. I'm pretty sure I know they're from Canada, but I don't think they still live in Canada. So this won't really affect them, but there's tons of people from Canada that I didn't even realize. And if I go onto Social Blade, I search up Luke Davidson. Click on my YouTube one. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It says this much as my earnings, but that's completely off. Crap, my camera battery is about to die. But they're taking into factor my short views, which if you look on my channel, like 2 million views, 2 million views, 5 million views, 3 million views. They're all counting that as like real, like long form video views that like make money where these ones don't make money. So that's why that is there, but that's like completely off. That's a lot more than I actually make, okay? But but look, I just find this crazy. This is what I wanted to show you guys. I'm 32nd on YouTube in Canada, which is just crazy to think about. And there's like some YouTubers have been talking about this, but I feel like not enough people have been talking about this, but I feel like that's because they don't even know that this is a thing. I mean, YouTube has been sending out messages saying like, this is happening or this could happen. It could affect you and things like that. And I decided since I am, I don't wanna like, I'm not trying to sound like cocky or bragging or anything. Like, like, oh, I'm 32nd in the country. But just because I'm like 32nd in the country, I feel like if I talk about this, then maybe something could happen, you know? Sorry, I'm going on and on about this, but I want to get to what this is. So if we go into YouTube's video, YouTube creators posted this video, impacts of C11 on creators and users in Canada. But again, this can affect people outside of the US and I'll explain that in a couple seconds, or outside Canada. So if this goes through right now, how, how it's written, they'll be able to determine how content appears on YouTube, including the homepage and watch next section. So if you guys don't know how the YouTube algorithm works is so for example, you're watching my video right now. YouTube knows that you're watching my video. They know how long you watch my video for. They know if you like it or dislike it. And based on that, like if you like my video, like you press a like, go slap the like button. But also if you watch the video for like the whole way through and YouTube's like, okay, they like this video. So let's show other videos similar to that video. But then if you clicked on my video, immediately clicked off, didn't watch it, hit the dislike, they'd be like, okay, they don't like that video. So we're not going to show videos similar to that video. But basically if this goes through, sorry, I keep saying if this goes through, but if this goes through the Canadian government, they'll be able to bypass this and show Canadians whatever videos that they think are Canadian enough. And I've been doing lots of research on this and nobody seems to know, like other YouTubers don't really know what Canadian enough means. So like if this goes through, <laughs> I said it again, you might wake up, go on YouTube and you might not see any videos of like YouTubers that you like watching. You might see things like maple syrup chugging contest, like cause that's Canadian, right? My maple syrup is like a Canadian thing. So I don't know if like I want to be pushed out. I might have to start like sipping on maple syrup every couple seconds, put like a hockey helmet on. I don't know. But the way that this affects YouTubers and viewers is if Canada starts, let's say Canada thinks my video is Canadian enough. However, they determine that. If they push my video out to a bunch of people because it's Canadian enough, but those people aren't interested in my video, then they'll see my thumbnail and title and then they'll be like, okay, that's not interesting to me. And they'll scroll. This is Luke from the future. I just wanted to quickly add something or clear something up. So not only, like I said before, where if it's Canadian enough, they push it out to people who don't want to watch it, which will affect the algorithm because those people won't be interested in that video. Video, so YouTube will think it's a bad video and won't show it to everybody. But also if the video isn't Canadian enough, like for example, there's my video here. I don't do anything Canadian. And then let's say, I don't know, a, a hockey tournament because hockey is Canadian. I don't know. Then they have the option to just go like this. Okay, this one's Canadian. Let's show it to a whole bunch of people. This one's not Canadian. We're not going to show it to anybody. That's, it's kind of scary. But what that does is it makes the click-through rate on the video go down. So basically what the click-through rate is, is it's like the percentage of like how many people saw the thumbnail versus how many people clicked on the thumbnail. And the higher the click-through rate, then YouTube think that's, that video is good. Lots of people are clicking on it. So then they'll push it out and show it to more people. But if the click-through rate is bad, then they're not going to show it to as many people. So if Canada does this and they show my video to people that aren't interested in my video, then the click-through rate will go down. And even if they click on it and they don't like it, they'll watch it for like 
like 10 seconds be like okay this is dumb i've never watched something like this i don't want to watch anything like this ever again they'll go off of it and that'll also hurt the watch duration so that's another thing that youtube takes into consideration for their algorithm is if somebody watches it for a long time like if the average watch time is like 100 percent, then youtube knows okay that's a really good video we're gonna show it to a whole bunch of people around the world but if it's like one percent then they're like okay this video sucks we're not gonna show it to anybody but if people click on it and then they click off right away again youtube's like okay this is a bad video and then they don't show it to as many people and again i don't like talking about money and that sort of stuff because i'm like super blessed and fortunate to be in this situation it's all because of you guys so thank you so much but if youtube doesn't show it to as many people obviously the views will go down which also means like they say right here hurts views and revenue so then Canadian YouTubers won't make as much money. And like I said, I'm very blessed. Like I have, or like I showed you guys earlier, 30 seconds in the country, which is insane. So I have lots of supporters who I'm guessing if this goes through, since you guys are subscribed to me, it'll still show up in your subscription box. But who knows? Maybe they'll be like, no, it's not Canadian enough. We're not going to show it to anybody. I don't think that'll happen, but it'll still show it to 7 million people, which I'm super blessed to have that many supporters. But I know there's lots of Canadian content creators who are like smaller, but they still make this a full-time living. But in order to make it a full-time living, living they have to do like partnerships and stuff because they can't make enough money on just the views but the thing is first of all they'll get even less views because of the reasons i showed you before Canada will be like hijacking the algorithm and screwing it up kind of but they'll also not get as many partnerships because for one they'll have less views but i'm kind of thinking if you're a canadian content creator that some companies like around the world because most like just i'm using me as an example most of my brand deals and partnerships that I get are from not in Canada. But if this thing goes through, then I have a feeling lots of brands will be like, we don't even want to mess with Canadian content creators because the video might not do good. They won't get as many views as somebody in, say, the US. Kind of thing like that. So by this passing, it could make a lot of smaller content creators not be able to do this for a full-time job and have to figure out something else, which just sucks because if this doesn't go through, then they'll be good but like you know what i mean it's like boom gotta get a new job something like that i really have no clue how much this will affect and again i hate saying this like a top person in the country like 30 second in the country i hate saying it like that i'm not trying to say like oh i'm so good i'm just saying like i am one of the most more subscribed people you know like the bigger channels so i have a big following and the videos should still show up in you guys' subscription box but depending on how serious this is like how much it can affect the views and everything again i don't like saying this but my revenue will go down and then i might have to consider like moving to the us or something which really sucks because i just bought this house <laughs> and i like living here you know i'm sorry i forget if i went over how it can affect the rest of the world i'm sure there are some other ways but the main thing that i know is like i know lots of people this is just one of the little things but i know lots of people watch youtubers but they don't actually subscribe to them but the thing is if that person is a canadian youtuber and this goes through then you won't maybe be seeing their videos because of these reasons look at a regular could force artificial promotion of some creators and contents over others so like if the video is more canadian than my video they'll push that one and they won't push my video and if they do that then youtube's algorithm like I said earlier, it'll mess up the algorithm. And if it messes up the algorithm, like I said, and the people click on it, then they click off and YouTube thinks it's a bad video. Sorry, I'm talking fast. Then that video won't get pushed out across the whole rest of the world. So I recommend if you guys like Canadian content creators, subscribe to them because maybe they won't be popping up after this. I don't know if we don't even know if this is going through, but I have a, I think it's, they had one called Bill C10, but it didn't go through, which was like the same thing as this. But now they have Bill C11. And I think this one's a lot closer to be at, actually passed. Not 100% sure, guys. I just wanted to make awareness of this. Oh, sorry. One last thing about the worldwide thing. But also, like, if there's videos made in Canada that you, like, enjoy watching, you know, like, maybe there's, like, a Mr. Beast in Canada, like, doing the most insane videos. But then because they passed this and it hurts the views and the algorithm and everything, then that video won't be pushed out to the rest of the world. So then you guys won't be able to enjoy that, if, you, if that makes any sense. I know it's kind of confusing, this whole thing. But hopefully that made somewhat sense. And you guys may be wondering, like, Luke, how do you stop this? Well, <laughs> I'm not even sure if this will help, but it would mean a lot if you guys, I'll give you guys like a little step-by-step -step tutorial. And no, I'm not getting paid. I just want to make this clear. I'm not getting paid. Nobody really told me. I mean, my manager said it might be a good idea to maybe mention this because it could affect Canadian content creators. And even YouTube's been like pushing like this is a serious thing if it goes through. So I kind of just wanted to talk about it. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> but if you guys want to help, if you go down and click the link at the top of the description down below, it'll bring you to this page. Hashtag fix C11. Do you want the government to control what content is recommended on your feeds or how you earn money on digital platforms? Our guess is no. Here's what you need to know about Bill C11 and how to make your voice heard. So if we go send letter now, you can choose if you're a content 
content creator, which is what I chose. I did this the other day. But the thing is, just by me, one person doing it, it's kind of like, okay. But if I show this to you guys, and like, I was just thinking about this. If like, even a hundred of you guys do this, because what it does is basically send an email to your like local government people explaining like your concern. If, even if a hundred emails get sent out within the next like hour, like that's insane. Let's just say 10,000 people did that. 10,000 meals go, or emails going out to them. They'd be like, what the heck's happening? We better like look into this. That's that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. So if you are a concerned Canadian citizen, you'd click this one. If you are a global citizen, you'd click this one. I'll just click global citizen. And basically what you have to do, I know lots of you guys probably won't feel comfortable doing this, but basically you put in your name. I'll just put Lou Davidson. I'm not going to submit this. And your email. And that's all you have to do. They already have a message made out to you basically saying like, I'm a global citizen. I'm sharing my concerns with Canada's online streaming act, which is Bill C-11. Bill C-11 gives a regulator the authority to regulate user generation generated content which is like youtubers posting videos and again i forgot to mention this this affects tiktok and twitch and everything in canada and like i said it can affect like being shown to the rest of the world this could deeply hurt some of my favorite canadian creators who require access to global audience to build a business which is true like i said earlier i'm not sure how much it could it'll affect like big big youtubers and again i hate saying that <laughs> because we have like a, a fan base who like subscribe and watch videos from the subscriptions tab and not like just hoping that your video gets recommended. But if there's smaller YouTubers who are like hoping to get recommended, then this could like make them not be able to do this, like I said. And it basically just says that and like that you're concerned and stuff. This is again, I was trying to find this earlier. Section 4.2 is the main thing around this. If they remove 4.2 from the bill, then it would basically fix everything I just said. Like it, this all wouldn't happen. But right now, as it's written, everything I just said can happen. And then basically you just send the letter and it'll automatically send it to these three people who is a international trade minister, minister of heritage and heritage shadow minister. Basically the government people of the world, I don't know. <laughs> but if you click your Canadian, it's the same thing, but this time it asks you for a postal code. And if you guys aren't comfortable putting in your postal code, you could literally search up, let's just say Saskatchewan. If you guys aren't from Canada, that's one of the provinces, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan postal codes. Let's just take one of these ones. Boom. And then I'll put it in here and enter. Now basically it's the same message saying like you're concerned. And then if you go to send letter this time, what the heck? Crap, I didn't actually mean to send it. Okay, well, before when I did it, since you put in your postal code, it like brings up a, like a list of like 12 people in Saskatchewan, like the government people in Saskatchewan, and it emails it to them. But I don't know what the heck who that one went to. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't actually mean to send that one. I already sent one. But anyway, even if we get a few people, it would mean a lot to me. But I don't want to just end the video there. I need to practice making Canadian content. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to look at some Canadian memes. Okay, before we look at the first meme, I just want to say, again, I don't really like talking about like controversial pol political things like that. I just try to stay away because everyone has their own opinion, right? And if you guys don't agree, like if you guys think this is a good thing, I hope I like haven't upset you guys. I'm sorry. I just, like I said, it's like smaller content creators who do this for a living. Boom. They have no job. You know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. But let's get into the memes. Can I copy your homework? Yeah, just change it up a bit so it doesn't look obvious you copied. Okay. Huh? Oh, okay. I don't know about these Canadian memes. You get it? Because this is the homework, the Canadian flag, and this is changing it up so it doesn't look like he copied maple syrup because maple syrup is like a Canadian. What's the word? Canadian. Maple syrup is Canadian. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> when you're Canadian. Okay, what are they typing out? S R. Where's the P? No P. Oh, I thought it was going to be syrup. <laughs> Wait, what? S R U O? Oh, sorry. Okay, because Canadians always apologize. Actually, now that I say that, I um just realized I was like saying sorry, guys. If, but I'm serious. Like, I just hate, I don't like upsetting other people. That's why I was like nervous about making this video. Cause like, I don't know. I just, it's somewhat controversial, but at the same time, I feel like this isn't like, <laughs> I don't know. This one's all right. I like this one. Percentage of times people say A. <laughs> Canadians. Okay, this is a good one. People making fun of Canadians. But no, I feel like Canadians. Like even a video I posted yesterday or something. I saw lots of comments. I laughed so hard when he said something, something, A. Like I just, <laughs> I think it was, this is the, yeah, sorry. The line that I said was, just a friend, eh? I was trying to say like, hey, like, hey, but I guess it wasn't hey, it was A. I guess that's Canadian. But like, I feel like Canadians say it. Nah, this is a, this graph is not good. It should be 50, 50. But yeah, I know what they mean. People make fun of Canadians. Cause like, if you go on to TikTok or something, search up Canadian memes. Hey bud, how's the weather? You know? Okay. When you accidentally flush a Canadian down the toilet. <laughs> I get it, because he went down the toilet. <laughs> oh, the comedy. These Canadian memes are hard to find. <laughs> find good ones anyway. Canadians pronouncing Newfoundland correctly. Newf <laughs> I literally did that. Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Yeah, no one says that. They all say Newfoundland. If you guys aren't from Canada, you won't get this one probably. You probably don't know what Newfoundland is. There you go again. Newfoundland. It's a province in Canada called Newfoundland. Well, that's how you spell it anyway. Americans making Thanksgiving memes. Me as a Canadian who celebrated Thanksgiving before Halloween. Ugh, I'm still full from it. <laughs> that was a good one. Well, yeah, that is true. Like, because lots of 
creators or meme makers, whatever you want to say, like social media people are from Can like, uh, well, there's a lot from Canada, but like majority because Canada is like 37 million people. US is like over 300 million. That's why there's more people there. But everybody that I follow is always posting. Oh, Thanksgiving today. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm like, yeah, I, we already had Thanksgiving. <laughs> My heart resting, exercising, bumping into a fellow Canadian and trying to be the first to apologize. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But it's true. Is that why I always say like sorry and stuff and like apologize? Because I'm Canadian? Nah. I know people who are not nice at all <laughs> who are Canadian. <laughs> Never ask a woman her age, a man, his salary, or Canadian where they were during the great Canadian maple syrup heist. Huh? Is that a thing? What? A Canadian during the maple syrup heist? I don't know, guys. These memes are confusing me. Canada has a $200,000 rubber duck that just floats around for no... What? Where? I want to go see this. This isn't really a meme, but it's something new, guys. You just learned something new about Canada. That's right, it's Canada. I'm actually going to search up where this thing is. Canada rubber duck. People celebrate Canada Day near the giant inflatable duck that sits on Tor Toronto. Oh, this was in 2017 they did this. Okay, it's not actually as big as I thought. That's not even rubber, is it? It looks like a floaty. Like, look at the like the texture. $200,000 for this. What? How babies are born in Canada. You get it? Because you get maple syrup from the tree? Ask any Canadian, any true Canadian road trip start with this. Mm, I don't eat fast food a lot, but so I don't really do this. Like when I go on a road trip, I do not go to the Tim Hortons or Timmy's as they call it. But whenever I would go on a, like a road trip shopping somewhere with my friends, Tim Hortons, here we go. Meanwhile in Canada, horses. Oh man, I'm sorry guys, that was a fake laugh. Not actually that funny. <laughs> I saw another one similar to that, but I didn't look at it because it wasn't that funny to me. When you spill your coffee in Canada, it's frozen. You get it? Because it's always cold in Canada. But actually it is true. Canada is cold. Like where in Manitoba, where I was, I'm in Alberta now. I'm pretty sure Manitoba is like one of the coldest places. Cause literally, what was it? Minus 50? But I swear it was minus 51 one day, at least maybe more. I don't know with the wind chill. But anyway, I think that's enough from Canadian memes. I don't think there's any more funny ones that we could look at. <laughs> but if you guys want to try and help, it'd mean a lot if you could just send out that email. I don't know. Hopefully by me making this video, it helped a little bit anyway. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.